everyone. I am Dr. Rupa Thikhate, consultant rheumatologist at Aster RV Hospital in Bangalore. In this video, I am going to clear some myths and give you some facts on uric acid and gout. Uric acid is a crystal and is a byproduct of purine protein metabolism. Hyperuricemia is the term that we use when the uric acid levels are high in the blood. Gout or gouty arthritis is the inflammation of the joints and is due to deposition of uric acid crystals. Not everyone with high uric acid level can have gout. However, it is important to maintain a normal level in the blood as it can have adverse effect on heart and kidney health as well as the joints. Not all joints in the context of high uric acid level is gout. It classically affects various uh, certain joints such as uh, big toe, ankles, knees, elbows and wrists. It rarely affects other joints. These joints can be red, hot, painful and swollen when the gout attack happens and it can be quite debilitating. When, when the gout is severe or the uric acid levels are very high, the, these crystals can leak outside the joint and can cause white deposits around the joint over the ears and they are called tophi. Anyone can have gout. However, it is common in people with a family history of high uric acid level or gout. Also with certain medical conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure or obesity. There are various risk factors or, or triggers that can make you develop gout or cause you gout attacks. And these risk factors are obesity, family history, uh, high alcohol intake, uh, intake of high purine diet and dehydration. It is also seen in uh, kidney failure patients and also in patients who are on chemotherapy or tablets that can excessively remove water from the body. Gout is typically diagnosed and managed by a rheumatologist and all you need is a thorough clinical examination, some blood tests and x-rays. Ultrasound scans or MRI scans are rarely needed. Gout is managed in two aspects. One is to uh, treat the acute gout attack, the other one is to prevent further attacks. Treating the acute attack involves resting the joint, using ice packs, elevating the limb affected and using some medications such as non-steroidals, colchicine or steroids. The other aspect of preventing the gout attacks involve addressing the lifestyle issues and also using certain medi medications that can reduce the uric acid level in the blood. So the coming to lifestyle measures. First of all, you can start off by reducing the risk of obesity by doing a regular exercise and maintaining a healthy, well-balanced diet. Next thing is to keep yourself well hydrated by drinking at least 3 to 4 liters of plain water in a day. Cut down your alcohol consumption, especially beer and spirits. Reduce your high purine in diet and the foods with high purine uh, contents are red meat in the form of mutton, pork, beef, seafood, uh, sugary, high sugary drinks such as Pepsi, Cola. Uh, and also yeast fermented foods. Some foods such as dal, chicken, egg, vegetables such as broccoli, spinach, peas don't have uh, a significant amount of purine to cause high uric acid. So hence these uh, uh, foods can be consumed on a regular basis in the modest amount. So as you have uh, heard, lifestyle measures plays a major role in the management of gout uh, treatment. Here at Aster RV, we have an excellent multidisciplinary team service to provide you excellent care for rheumatology patients. Please feel free to visit us for more information. Thank you.